people are talking about mostly the prophetic ministry mostly the prophetic ministry so many people are against the prophetic ministry as well so many people do not love the prophetic ministry at all so many people are angry with the prophets they have degraded the prophet they have humiliated they have said everything they know about prophets why because i think the devil have really attacked the prophetic ministry the more so all this drama you are seeing in christianity today in the church today boils down to the prophetic ministry where you see the prophets being uh, getting themselves messed up doing all kinds of things that mostly are not backed up by the bible that doesn't have any correspondence no consistency with the word of god and why is the devil attacking the prophetic ministry because this like <laughs> A very big gift God has given to the church to bring solution to the church that difficult solution could become very easy very simple very possible with the prophetic what you would labor to pray and fast will be very easy with the prophetic what would have come tomorrow and next can be here now through the prophetic so the devil have seen that if he fights the prophetic ministry people will continue to be in bondage and slavery so you see now today the prophet here, the prophet there. And people have been talking about not necessarily everything that I've seen about the prophet are lies. That most of them are truth. But let's look at something. See, we will appreciate more if you are correcting. You correct by experience, not by what you think. If you are condemning the acts, condemning what the prophet does let it should be that you know what you are saying not gazing are we together? because most of them what they are doing is since they have no experience they think that such does not exist when a particular exercise is carried out a particular thing is said somebody that doesn't understand the prophet will sit down somewhere and say ah, there's nothing like that because you have not experienced it before and you will never experience it. Praise the Lord. If you read the book of Faith, Corinthians chapter 12, verse 28, you understand the fivefold ministry. Also, the book of Ephesians chapter 4, verse 11, you understand the fivefold ministry, which is the apostles, the, the prophets, evangelists, the pastors, and the teachers. Different ministries, different callings entirely. But you see, people from other ministries, um, other, uh, uh, yes, ministries and calling, will start persecuting people on the other. Why? Because they don't understand what they're doing. They don't understand. So they will sit down because they are also they are confined to a particular reasoning and happening in their life and they agree. No, it cannot happen. It happens. Very simple. It's just like you have in the federal government today. We have different ministries. You have the Ministry of Finance, you have the Ministry of Agriculture, we have the Aviation Ministry, right? You can't stay in the Aviation Ministry and understand soil sampling. This is something like soil sampling, right? You can't stay in the Aviation Ministry and say there's something like soil sampling. There is, but we are not there. You can't stay in uh, agricultural departments or ministry and say there's something like um, bank reconciliation statement in accounting, which is in Ministry of Finance. Or it is something like... Um, uh, um, overdraft and all those things you won't understand so a, a banker will come out here and start talking about and giving you banking terms overdraft bank reconciliation statement this and that you will get confused you can't say it is not true that it's not there so you do research if you don't understand and be sure before you comment so this is what they are doing so when they see a prophet act so ah how can it be why that's magic because most times i wonder why somebody will say that if a man of God would pray for somebody immediately and is healed or delivered immediately, that is a, it's magic. Because you have not experienced that before in your mission doesn't mean that it doesn't exist. If you read through the Bible, you realize, you realize that all the minute miracle preachers Christ performed were instantaneous, spontaneous. Touch and he was healed. Touch and she was healed. Immediate. 
So you can't say it is not possible. So if you think that you can only pray for 10 years for somebody to be healed, that is your own understanding of God. Are we together? There's a dimension. There's how I understand God. You don't understand God that way. If you like, stay in mission for 50 years, 40 years. The main thing is understanding. Now, there are things the prophet will say, and you won't agree. We are doing as we ask you to agree with it, but move on. There are things, no matter how you stay, no matter how you fast and pray, you will never hear, you will never see, you will never experience, you will never understand. Because your ministry does not require that. So you don't start spoiling another person because of this and that, and you don't understand what he's doing. See, we have the New Old Testament and we have the New Testament. The prophet wrote the Old Testament and the apostles interpret the Old Testament and the New Testament. Are we getting the point now? The prophet wrote the Old Testament and the apostles interpret. So everything you have in the New Testament is in an interpretation of the New Old Testament which the original writers are the prophets. 